I very recently made a couple videos with the 7900 XDX on the latest 24.1.1 AMD driver and for some reason it looked like my card wasn't boosting as high as it normally does with my manual overclock and I decided to look into this see if it was maybe the new driver and compare it to the old. Now if you look at the 23.12.1 the previous driver you can see that I have a, a few overclock profile save that I've always had for both my 6800 XT and 7900 XTX, right? And for some reason, these would not show on the new 24.1.1 driver. It was essentially blank. So I created, you know, my own overclock profile again. And it is this one here. So three gigahertz overclock with a 1070 millivolt undervolt and a maxed out power limit with 2650 fast timings memory. Okay, and I decided to do a side by side of infinite wealth between the 23.12.1 driver and the latest 24.1.1. We'll take a look at infinite wealth here and we'll begin with the settings. So I've set it to 4K with maxed out settings and we're using native AA FSR3. So we're using FSR3 for anti aliasing. And here we are in chapter 3. So we're in Hawaii in the game where the game is a little bit more demanding than it is in Japan, I think, anyway, based on what I'm seeing. And you know what? I did actually notice a difference hey. in boosting behavior. Thank you. If you pay close attention to the GPU core right below the GPU use, the card is actually boosting lower on the new driver than it is on the previous driver. Now, it's not by that much, not as much as I thought it was going to be. It can be between 30 or maybe even 100 megahertz sometimes, maybe more. I don't know. I don't know. But it's consistently lower. However, we are getting actually higher performance on the new driver. And that kind of makes sense because if we look at the release notes on the 24.1.1 driver, they've added new game support for like a dragon infinite wealth so they've optimized the drivers for this particular game still though just because i am so used to looking at the clocks on this gpu i felt like the card wasn't boosting as high as i felt it should have so i made the comparison and here it is basically i found that despite the slightly lower clocks on the new driver we are getting around a six percent performance boost on the averages and five percent performance boost on the one percent low so that is actually quite nice i also made this same run but without overclocking the graphics card on both drivers as well which we're going to look at next hell i wish i would have known that sooner kasuga-san hmm? oh, oh sorry talking to myself he's a dear friend to you isn't he yeah he is he's more like a brother if anything a brother well that's how one of us sees it at least oh also am i going the right way here oh yeah this way's fine all right Alrighty then, why don't we take a look at the default GPU profile on both drivers. So here we're running the game at the same exact settings, obviously, and but this time we haven't overclocked the GPU at all. We're running at the default, so it's just hey. my Sapphire Nitro Plus's zone uh, factory profile, which is a bit higher than the AMD zone reference, but that's besides the point. Now if we look at the clocks, it's we essentially see the same type of behavior it's around 40 to 100 ish megahertz lower than it is on the old driver so the new driver for some reason doesn't boost as much however we are actually seeing that same uh, performance gain that we've seen from the new driver optimizations which leads to around five percent on the averages and five percent on the one percent lows so it seems like years, the so. driver definitely oh, accident, huh? brings some optimizations for infinite wealth, which is yeah, actually I good because uh, I know some people friend? like to call yes, this a, a PS3 looking a game, even though I find oh, that yeah. ridiculous because I actually have a PS3 a and, <clears> and I do like uh, uh, retro console games. Sometimes I do play them and yeah, this is not a PS3 looking game, but that's besides the point. It's just people on the internet it's perhaps how they remember it with uh, rose-tinted glasses. But that's besides the point. Essentially, we do have good 
uh, optimizations from AMD's team here with the drivers. A 5% gain, which is essentially free performance. That's not bad at all. So that is nice to see. But, you know, this, this uh, boosting thing was something I wanted to take a look at. And it seems to be the case. Now, even though it's not nearly as much as I thought it was going to be, it is there. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. So I don't know. But maybe... I could look at yeah, some other games like... to see if right. um, if it's the same thing on other games. I would as probably assume so. And I'd also like to mention that I actually did have some weird freezes on the new driver. And that was when I was messing around with the settings. So I made a new profile, my new overclocking profile that I saved. And then when I try to go back to the default, my computer like froze. But it didn't freeze. It was like I could only move the mouse slightly. It was really strange. I've actually never seen that before. And I ended up restarting the computer. And then when I went and overclocked the profile again, it happened again. But then it didn't happen. So it was kind of weird. I'm not sure if you guys play around with uh, overclocking Radeon GPUs and you experience something similar, let me know. Uh, it could have just been a, a one or two or three time thing for me. I don't know. But I did not experience that with the previous drivers. So, yeah. This is just something that I wanted to make a video on because I was curious about it. And that's kind of what I do with my videos is make them on stuff that I'm curious about. So, anyway, I hope you guys like this. And, uh, yeah, give it a like if you liked it. I would appreciate it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye. find work and stuff, but as I said, we're all back on the job hunt now. Yeah, that's right. Sheesh, it's all coming back to me. Everything was my fault. I'm why they lost their jobs. Is everything okay, Kasuga-san?